Travis with Geek Therapy, and today we are here with Ted Abenheim, the president of Prison Comics. How are you today? I'm good. We're a week away from QCon, our, our big I LGBT know, Comic Con. So. I'm really excited. It looks like it's going to be a, a great event. I've, uh, I've been taking a look at the guest list. It looks amazing. We, we expect it to be fun, yes. I understand it's been going on for a few years, but this is actually the first year I've heard about QCon. Uh, how did this uh, come to be? Prism Comics has been in existence as a nonprofit supporting LGBTQ comics creators and fans and readers for 21 years. There was a LGBTQ Comic Con in Los Angeles back in the early teens. It, it's no longer. So we wanted to bring uh, another queer comic event to Southern California. And through the help of, of uh, the city of West Hollywood that gave us a, a starter grant, started uh, QCon, LGBTQ Comic Convention, in um, June, Pride Month of 2022, coming right out of the pandemic. Um, and it was, it was great. I mean, <laughs> it, it was a celebration. The energy in the room was fabulous. And creators had a great time. Fans had a great time. And so this is our, this will be our third year. And we're growing. That's amazing. It's incredible. And, and to come right out of the pandemic with that. Um, uh, could you tell us a little bit about uh, your role with the uh, Prism Comics and the convention? Like started, I, I've been with Prism for like 18 years. Um, I, I found Prism at Comic-Con. Prism was started at Comic-Con by a, a, a group of fans. A number of them are from the Gay League, which is also a, a, a fan group that still exists and is going strong and they're, they're all great. But Prism was started as a nonprofit entity so that we could um, do things that, that a regular group couldn't do. We gave a grant to aspiring creators for a number of years um, and, and helped a number of creators have gone on to you know, larger, more famous work. As a nonprofit, we, we, we worked with the city of West Hollywood. We're kind of like Queer Central at Comic-Con and mostly in the West Coast, but we've done throughout the country, WonderCon, Anaheim, Los Angeles. And we've become a, a spot that people know where they can, number one, find a, a safe, welcoming community for, you know, both um, out and, and, and questioning um, people of all ages. And so we wanted to provide something like that because there was no queer comic con in, in LA. Readers were eager for it. it, it creators are eager for it. The, the as you know, the the range of, of comics is is amazing these days with not only print, but I mean web web comics and the like and Kickstarters and everything. So it's the community and the reaction two queer comics from the you know public at large has changed so much in the 20 years there's still a lot to to accomplish and there's still a lot of stories to tell and i mean we're facing reactionary reactionary backlash now so uh it's needed representation is important and that's that's why we do this it's free um so anybody can come regardless of background or, or economics. The best part is it's a good time. It's it's just so much fun. We've got cosplayers um, showing their cosplay pride. Definitely, I, com I completely agree. Representation's definitely needed now more than ever, I think. And uh, I think it's great also that uh, that the convention is free, that um, this is, that's the first, I think, the first free con I've ever <laughs> heard of. And just the fact that it supports a cause that means so much to me, I think that's that's excellent. Well, thank I, uh, you. We're trying to keep it free. <laughs> <Who knows? laughs> of course, yeah. Um, I've been noticing recently, uh, I want to say within the past few months with the uh, advent of the uh, X-Men 97 show on Disney+, Plus, um, there's been a, like a lot of um, a lot of events that were sponsored by Prism uh, that featured a lot of the voice actors from that cast. And I know uh, um, one of the vo uh, or a couple of the voice actors are going to be at this QCon. Um, those those X-Men events are... are 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 handled by uh, someone who is helping to produce QCon named Chris Riley and his associates who do the Uncanny Experience and the X Reads podcast. So they developed a whole fan base 
for the X, you know, podcast and X Men experience. We were very grateful to to them to connect us with the X Men ninety seven because they've been doing the the bar nights and the watch parties in town. Chris is helping to produce QCon, so we are we we're, we're we're benefiting from that, and we we have um, JP and Holly with us. Chris is going to be doing a panel with Kevin Winston, who is also part of that that group and 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 works with Digital LA. So there'll be both a panel, and then JP and Holly will be signing. We we marched in the West Hollywood Pride Parade. Um, it was it was so cool because I mean not only they're all when we come by, there's so much cheering for 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 um. Le- you know, for Lenore Zahn and, and for JP in the car, but I think it was also for the cosplayers because we had two dozen um, very astonishing uncanny X-Men and, and cosplayers. And they're, they're going to be in the LA Pride Parade with other uh, voice actors. I am not going to be there because I am literally making signs and packing books and um, for, for our convention, which is, you know, just one week away. Yeah, I did actually get, I did see um, uh, on the social media this week, the March and the Parade, and it looked, looked fantastic. Um, uh, I will definitely be at the con next week, though. I'm really excited for that and um, excited for uh, uh, the not just the X-Men panel, but also just getting to uh, connect with a lot of the, um, uh, the uh, queer artists and writers and everything. I actually have here with me a few of um, uh, the books that I've gotten from uh, San Diego Comic-Con. Mm-hmm. Booth. Yeah. Reading that was just so. So oh, I I just recently came out as non-binary uh, last year, genderqueer. Just that was so affirming and just such a just a life-changing read for me. I, so I, I think that needs to be in schools. And it's what it's the most banned book in America. <laughs> it's one of the most banned books. Yet when I looked on Amazon last year, it was one of the it was the highest, if not it was the highest selling LGBTQ book on Amazon. That's why these books need to be out there. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm really excited to get to read some of these works. Cause you know, like there's a lot of, uh, um, like, uh, that, uh, that book and as well as a few others, like it's, um, they're not as, uh, you know, widely, I guess, so as widely known as, you know, some of the like the superheroes and stuff like, you know, Marvel DC and everything. But I mean, these are still really just, uh, powerful life affirming stories. And I think it's, you know, important that we have that content as well. Uh, what, uh, what do you hope uh, people will take away from QCon? To see, to see themselves represented in in the very popular medium of comics, and 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 pop media. To to meet artists that they like, uh, get autographs, to find new books, and new stories, maybe even be inspired to write their own. To be in the company of other people of, of like minds and, and and everything. I mean, that's what Prism is all about we it's not just a booth i i like going there because it was a meeting place it was like it was like a safe space where i could meet other people into comics and and the same things i was into i mean it's, it, you know it's, it's geek culture queer geek culture but more than that people who you know people who are or understand what you you're going through if you if you're questioning or if you if you are um you know unsure or, 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 you know, we also work and people can uh, talk to artists if they're aspiring to, you know, how to, how to, how to break into comics, how to print their, do their own books. We've got a panel on indie comics at, at QCon. Also, also the, the, the importance of diversity. I mean, LGBTQ is, is, is a few letters, but there's a, there's a whole diverse community within that. Um, and so that's what we want to celebrate and include as well. So I mean, we you know there there are, there are non-binary, there are transgender, ace creators, black, Latinx, Middle Eastern. They, I mean, it, we want to be diverse and inclusive. That's important. Wonderful. Well, UConn's going to be at uh, um, the Fiesta Hall in West Hollywood at Plummer Park uh, this uh, next Saturday, June fifteenth. Uh, where can they find uh, you or Prism Comics on social media? Our, our website is prism, P-R-I-S-M, comics.org. QCon's got its own website. It's QConPrism, 
org. Um, you can get free tickets there. You can show up at the door. You don't have to make free reservations. And it's um, 11 a.m. To, to 6 p.m. And then we have a special sneak screening of Surge of Power Where There's Smoke, which is a, a movie about a gay superhero. It's the fifth in the series with a producer uh, and, and the, the star. Um, and that'll be fun. And there's a costume contest. And the Gay Men's Chorus is gonna, giving a free concert uh, on the lawn next to QCon from three to four. This is part of the We Hope um, Pride Arts Festival. So there is going to be a photography exhibit in one of the halls, the Gay Men's Chorus concert, and the West Hollywood Poets will give you your own personal poem. So it, it, it's going to be a fun, busy day. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm, I'm extra excited now. <laughs> I thought, well, you know, first year, we'll have a few people sign up. There were two dozen plus people and two young kids, and it was fun. It was fun. Everybody has a chance to be themselves or who they want to be. <laughs> yeah. you know. um, if there are creators who are interested in tabling, contact us for next year because, you know, we're, we're open. Awesome. Well, uh, thank, yeah. thank you so much again, Ted. It's been a pleasure having you here. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye.